child myself, and I am inspired to think that we don't have to have um, a world where being healthy is a struggle. So we all know that there's a national crisis with the obesity epidemic and even though Vermont is considered one of the healthier states in the nation, we have this problem here too. 59% of Vermont adults are obese or overweight and 29% of our youngest Vermonters, um, age 2 to 5, are above a healthy weight. And the incidence of obesity in adults and children has doubled in the past 20 years. What we know from research is that the leading causes of obesity, type 2 diabetes, and other chronic diseases are the lack of physical activity and healthy eating in our lifestyles these days. So what the Healthy Communities Coalition is trying to do is to make the healthy choice the easy choice where people live, work, learn, and play. So we're working with a wide range of organizations within communities from schools and other youth serving organizations to businesses, workplaces, neighborhoods, stores, and entire communities to try to increase and improve the supports for people to get routine physical activity and to have easy access to healthy fruits and vegetables. So one of the strategies HCC is using to stimulate policy systems and environmental change throughout Wyndham County is the assessment and planning process. Now with this we're using a number of different assessment tools to work with schools, workplaces, after school child care sites, and communities at large to help them discover where they are in terms of policy and environmental supports for healthy eating and routine physical activity. And then we're using that information to create an action plan for improving and strengthening these supports. We've been offering the assessments for a short time and we've already begun to see a number of exciting changes throughout the county. accomplished a lot of our little goals, our kind of, you know, scattered goals, and um, we're really looking to have a broader view of health and wellness in the school. And it, it forces you to kind of sit down and look at your program and what you're doing and, and give some direction to where you want to go and to think about it that way. And I think, you know, although we've had some successes um, in our individual little things, it's really nice to... Um, have that overall view and focus and all the players were there the nurse and the food services and PE and some classroom teachers and parents and it was um, I thought that was great. The kind of the main thing that came out of the process was uh, the walking to school and I know the state has a big push um, for biking and walking to school and we're really it's difficult in this area because everybody lives so scattered far away um, but we have applied for some money to put in a walking path and to try to get kids to walk on a daily basis. Even though they can't walk to school, they can walk at school. helped um, I think all of us in that group take a look at what we're offering what we're actually doing that I think sometimes we do you know we're offering things that we don't really realize that we're even doing it so it was kind of eye-opening to realize that well we are really encouraging people to try to take a break during their work day and go outside and maybe take a walk if they have time to do that and the questions also help you or they helped me anyway um, 
think about not only what we were currently offering, but what else we could be doing that didn't cost a lot of money that might be a really easy, a really easy success story, a really easy win for the hospital. A great example of that is the cafeteria, the, the kitchen. We did the assessment and we thought, huh, maybe we should just change the layout of the food. Everyone goes through the salad bar first. So everyone accesses the salad before they even get to the hot food. Um, and before, people used to pick up the hot food bar, fill their plate, and then bypass the salad completely. So it's been, um, it's been a really, was sort of a low-tech, almost a no-brainer kind of shift in flow that's really impacted. We have 180 plus employees here, wow. and they all eat lunch, so <laughs> it's huge. Yeah. That people are making, or, or have the option to make healthier choices first. serves meals uh, Monday through Friday, breakfast and lunch. Um, we always serve fruit and vegetables and fresh salad every single day. And we have a food pantry that provides food to about 180 households every month. The average number of people that use the food shelf um, in those 180 households is about 510 per month. In our dining room we serve about 1,100 meals per month now. Uh, it's up from a about 850 this time last year. Twice a week we get probably about seven or eight cases of everything from strawberries and blackberries to uh, eggplants and cauliflower uh, that we also either use in the kitchen, um, but often there's more than we can use in the kitchen, so we put that out for anybody to take too. And I hear this a lot, you know, oh, I remember my grandmother, she had a garden and she canned and she did these things, but it's just a lot of that, their skills have not been passed down and our lifestyles have changed. And we've been trying to bring people together from different organizations or just you know people that reside in the community to figure out how we can do, how we can generate more, not just conversation about the, what the community needs, but actually community action about what the community needs. So in order to get some more information about what people were facing as far as access to fresh food in this area, we decided to do a uh, food survey. Um, we ask a lot of different questions in the survey, everything ranging from how many times a week do you shop to how do you plan your meals, what kind of access do you have to fresh fruits and vegetables, and all of the survey will be really helpful in informing the decisions that we make as far as what kind of classes or education or programs that we offer. Finding out what people's needs are through the food assessment is, is really very important for us because otherwise we're, we're just, we're trying to find solutions to a problem that may not exist really and we want to find solutions to problems that people are having that we can actually make a difference. As planners, professional planners, we're aware of the link between the um, built form or the way the town is constructed um, and uh, people's level of activity, physical activity in it. We're aware that even though it's a small community and it's got a beautiful setting, people are heavily dependent on the private car as a means of transportation. And we're aware from our work um, using public health data that um, obesity is present in Brattleboro, it is an issue, mm -hmm. it's particularly present amongst a segment of the school age population and that we've, and we've been involved in um, de developing a draft town plan for two years now um, and we set off with some goals around um, what we've now come to think of as livable communities. Chili process has been really important to us. And there was a um, group formed in Brattleboro that was a really good cross section of um, thought leaders and practitioners in the field. So it was made up of people from the health department, people from the schools, community, people from the 
hospital and public um, health community, um, people representing AARP and the YMCA. For us, as part of the town planning process, what we've done is feed that information into um, chapters that address municipal facilities and services, which is and transportation. So a strong commitment to public transit, a strong commitment to making adequate accommodations for cyclists and pedestrians on streets. We can make small but important um, changes in policy and in action to encourage physical activity and to encourage an awareness of the relationship between the physical environment and, and activity. I think that in general uh, I'm really encouraged by sort of the latent, uh, maybe dormant interest that now with the catalyst that we're offering is allowing people to um, change. We hope you've been inspired by some of the changes that you've heard about in this video. If you'd like to make the healthy choice the easy choice where you live, work, learn, or play, Please be in touch with us. We look forward to working with you.